Honesty pays. Even if you are not physically paid for being honest, remain honest. Even if you lose a lot from being honest, remain honest. If in this generation that's degenerate, to be honest, you'll be called foolish. You'll be called not smart. But remain honest. Let your boss hit his hand on his chest to say, not him. There are bosses that can stand shorty. They can stand as referee for people. I told you the story of a young lady. The boss would try to harass her sexually and she would turn him down. The boss tried a lot of nonsense. The guy said, sir, I'm not just going to church. Yo. I'm born again. The man tried a lot. He said, sir, I'm born again. This is nonsense. I don't do it. The man said, I'll fire you. He said, then fire me. The boss sacked her. She had no job. After about one year, she saw another job offer. But it had a condition. That she must have a recommendation from her previous place of employment. With her hand on her head. She said, this man. So she went there. Take your seat. She went to the man. She said, sir. I got a job. I know you are not happy, but I got a job. And they said, you know, say, give me, give me, give me. The man wrote. If you are looking for a firm lady. One who cannot be corrupted. When, she pre when he presented the certification, the recommendation, it was stronger than the CV from school. A, a new boss said, what did you give this man that he wrote? He said, don't worry, sir. This is what you asked for. He said, no, you are employed. If your former boss can write this. I, am I talking to somebody here? That is the kind of solidity and discipline. Just few naira notes, few opportunity kept before you today to determine your next level. See how you have damaged yourself. Few opportunity given to you to manage people, manage business. See how you have done. So you have said you are saying for your future, you are not qualified. They say lead people in the choir, lead people in the usher department. You are dating them. Is that part of leadership? House fellowship leader, that's what you are. Your house has become a slaughter. Is that part of leadership? Why corrupt a good thing with a useless thing? What kind of mind do you have? Why insult yourself? Why, why reduce yourself? There are things you do to yourself. It is a reduction to, your, to the lifting that God has given you. You are a boss. You are asking your secretary out. Are you mad? Are you mad? Are you mad? Somebody you are paying. What are you is something wrong with you? Do you want to close that company? Why missing nonsense with a do you want to close that company down? There are things you should tell yourself. You are a woman, your husband's driver is now your best friend. You can see the reduction. You are married, and you, you don't have value for the sanctity of marriage. You are abusing it because you want to get money from which, which demon? Which demon? A man knows you are married. He knows. He's aware. And he's offering you money to abuse the sanctity of marriage. And you don't have sense. If it destroys your marriage, will he marry you? And you are just there. It's the condition. So it's not the condition of nothing. People are still disciplined. People are still saved. Not everybody is a thief. There are people that see money that is not their own and they take their eyes away. There are people like that. Don't call everybody a thief because you are an arm robber. I saw all of us Nigerians be. We are not all like that, sir. All those things you collect from the office, you think your boss was not aware. He's aware. Those change you collect, you keep. Those, uh, your God doesn't need it. Says who? He's aware. He kept quiet. And he's calculating it. The day will tell you how much you have stolen from him. You'll be shocked.